Behind the scenes at the airport. With support from Birmingham Airport. With around half a million people flying into and out of Britain's airports each day, there's plenty of things to do to make sure that passengers get to the right flight and planes take off on time. When you're off on holiday, there are loads of things to remember. Passports, tickets, cool new sunglasses, anything else? That's right, your luggage. Luggage, or baggage, is the name given to your suitcases. Large suitcases have to go in the hold of the plane because, well, imagine 200 people on a plane all carrying bulky luggage to their seats. It would be a pretty big squeeze. That's why all big bags have to go in the hold and they get there thanks to the... Baggage Handling System. This is a pretty cool, if complicated, job. The bags have to move through the airport at least as fast as their owners. If they're too slow, they might miss the plane that their owners have flown out on and then you'll have angry passengers wondering where their bags are. If the bags move too fast, they might cause a baggage jam at the gate and get mixed up with the bags of an earlier departure. So how does the system get the right bag at the right time to the right gate? Your bag's journey starts, like yours does, at the check-in desk. This is where an airline agent will print out a special barcode, which carries all the details about you and your flight and attach it securely to your bag. Then it's onto the conveyor belt system. A baggage handling system is like a city road network with each bag like cars travelling along. But instead of tarmac roads, bags travel along on conveyor belts. As your bag makes its journey, its barcode is scanned along the way by computers which will divert it to different conveyors at just the right time to ensure it arrives at the correct gate. If the computers can't see a barcode, the bags will be diverted to have a manual scan. The system is so clever that if there is a blockage, bags can be rerouted around diversions. Some airports use carts called DCVs, destination coded vehicles which run at speeds of up to 20 miles an hour, racing the bags to the right conveyor belts and tipping them on in the right places. When your bag arrives at the gate where your plane is parked, it will be moved from the conveyor belt to the plane by special trucks. If you look out at the airfield sometimes, you can see these driving the bags around. Can you spot your bag? <laughs> to get into the hold, sometimes a small conveyor belt is used to carry them up. Other times, normally with smaller planes, bags may be placed on board by hand. When all the bags and passengers are on board, it's time for takeoff. Now, when you arrive at your destination and leave the plane, your bags will also be taken off the plane and using a different baggage handling system will travel through the terminal to baggage reclaim. To collect your bags, you'll need to find the right carousel. Not that kind of carousel. It's the name given for a rotating conveyor belt where bags are placed. It means people can watch for their bag and when you spot it, grab it. Not all the bags will end up on the carousel because not all passengers will be stopping at the destination. Some will be transferring to other flights, but thanks to the barcode, those bags will continue their journey through the baggage handling system to their next plane. All passengers awaiting flight ZM100 please make their way to the gate. Find out more behind the scenes at the airport on funkidslive.com behind the scenes at the airport with support from Birmingham Airport.